check it out guys, we're back with a brand new episode on the channel. My name is of course General Tony and welcome my friends back to the main village inside of COC. We are nearing the final week of November 2020. We're about to enter into the December month guys. And that means one thing, the Christmas update is just around the corner. Supercell is probably gonna give us some crazy treasure items, some crazy special offers inside of the store guys and this Christmas I will be giving away the most amount of prizes we've given to my subscribers all year. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel guys as long as there is a big Christmas update we will give away at least 50 to 100 dollars in gems and special offers. So make sure you're subscribed guys and drop a like on the video if you're excited for the Christmas update coming into COC guys. So we're still working on those final two upgrades. We've almost got enough to do another one, guys, but we're not going to be doing anything about upgrading in this episode. What we're going to do, we are shortly going to be getting ourselves into a live attack against a top player inside of Clan Wars, guys. Unfortunately, it looks like we are going to be losing this war. And it's actually the first war we've lost in quite a while. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, we are... In my opinion, much better than them, but I got some really unlucky attacks. I got a 97% two-star. I also, down on my General Tani account, got a 95% two-star, guys. But the worst one, it is official. I am now the unluckiest player in the world, guys. So before I actually do my live attack against number one, which we're going to be doing in a second, I wanted to show you what I believe is officially the unluckiest player in the world. So, I'm gonna click the replay button. You are gonna see my three-star attempt on their number four player, guys. And I'm not joking. It is absolutely insane what happened. So we're gonna click the play button. Sit back, relax, guys. You are about to bear witness to the unluckiest player in the world of COC history. So, where did we come in from? I can't really remember. Where is my Archer Queen, guys? I just heard her. There she is. Okay, down the bottom. Archer Queen has entered, and the healers go in just behind. So we got the dragon off to the east wing, making a funnel for the queen. And we have got ourselves the start of what I was hoping was going to be a really great clan war, guys. So we got the super wall breaker in. We got the giants and some wizards to take out the Tesla's on the other side. We got the free spell down. And we took out the defending CC, no problem whatsoever, guys. So the defending Lava Hound is coming out. We took out the single target Inferno Tower. And the Poison Spell is unfortunately going to start to dwindle as we almost took out the Lava Hound, guys. I think we need to drop in another Rage Spell to keep the Queen alive and keep this three-star hope going. So as this is going on, we get the Siege Brags. The King, the Pekka, comes out around the other side to make a funnel, guys. And the rest of the troops are going to make their way directly into the core of this base with, of course, the help of the funneling and the jump spells. We will be making our way into the core. So check it out. Almost got ourselves up to 50% total damage already. The entire army, guys, is virtually still alive. And we are about to raid this base and get that triple that I was hoping for. So we put the, uh, the Royal Champion ability pretty early. We've got a free spell down on the scatter shot and the Inferno Tower. Sorry, the Giga Inferno. And the Queen is going to take out the Town Hall. And we are going to take out the scatter shot in quick succession, guys. And it looks like we were really going to get that triple. Take a look. The entire army is spread out across the entire map, guys. All we needed to do was really take out that final single target Inferno Tower. But the Grand Warden just didn't want to do it. No one was actually targeting it. And the Grand Warden obviously is a support unit, so he can't just randomly target it himself. So we're going to go double speed, guys, because this is the part which gets incredible. The Archer Queen is going to take out the final few buildings down the bottom. We've got the Yetamite almost taking out the Wizard Tower. Still got a couple of troops alive. Archer Queen ability gets activated. We take out the Defending Inferno Tower, guys. And this is the final 13 seconds of the raid. We're already up to 99%. Take a look at the top right, guys. Sorry, the bottom right, 99%. The cannon is on five hit points. Four, three, two, one more shot. But we didn't get it. 
Guys, one more little minion poop and we would have taken out the cannon. How insane is that? Hashtag minion poop down below in that comment section. So we're going to try and revenge that unlucky two star guys by taking on the top player inside of Clan Wars. So they've got a single target down the bottom, two multi targets up the top guys, and of course the town hall up towards that side of the base. So this is the strategy we're using. Double Super Warbreaker, Bowlers, Yetis, one of our Golems, Pekka, Healers, a couple of Giants, and then more Yetis, and of course the Siege Brax. Try and get this triple, guys. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna try and open up, I think, this little section of the base, guys, because if I can get in and maybe take out some of these horrible, horrible Expos, guys, we might be able to swing it and get the rest of the troops in over this side to funnel down towards the actual town hall. Now, I'm not really sure if this is going to go to plan, guys. It's a bit of a risky strategy. We don't actually have that many troops. A lot of the troops are the bigger units, so I really need to focus on taking out this Inferno Tower. It's going to be a struggle, guys, but we're going to see if we can get the job done. So wish me luck by leaving a like on the video. And let's get the attack underway. Okay. So, all I know is I need to take out the single target if we've got any hope of keeping the rest of the army alive, guys. Because the rest of the army, as I said, we've got a golem, we've got yetis, we've got peckers, and we've got giants. They are very big units. No witches. The only threat in this base, really, is the Inferno Tower. So let's get the job done. Let's kick start off with, of course, the Baby Dragon. The Archer Queen is going to come in. I'm going to drop in the Super Wall Breaker. I've just noticed the entire base is actually open, guys. Which means we might not need to actually use a Super Wall Breaker, but we did already use it, so there's not really much we can do about that. I'm going to drop in a Rage Spell. I want this Queen to run a little bit quicker, guys. She should enter... To take out the Inferno Tower shortly. Here we go. There goes the Mortar. She's going to swing onto the Inferno Tower. I don't really want to use another free spell, guys. Yo, that was close. There goes another Rage, though. Because we're about to try and take out as many Inferno Towers. Sorry, as many Expos as possible. So there goes the first one. Double Cannon is down as well. I might need to use a Triple Rage. This is ridiculous, guys. We got the Triple Rage down. The Queen is hanging on in there. There goes her ability, taking out the Defending Queen, taking out the Defending Royal Champion, and we are shortly going to be taking out, of course, the Defending CC. So, as this is going on, let's get all our troops in, guys. I'm going to have to maybe drop a free spell on all those horrible yaddy, all those horrible little um, troops. Look at that, guys. This isn't really going to plan. I don't think this is going too well. Let's get ourselves our jump spells in. Double jump is up ahead. And we've got some of the healers still alive. But I think we're pretty much struggling to hang on to them, guys. We've got the wizards taking out the final few ones. And now we've got the rest of the army coming into the core. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and savor this Grand Warden's ability. I'm going to activate the Royal Champion Shield. And we're going to go with the Grand Warden's ability now as we make our way in towards taking out that Town Hall, guys. We're certainly going to be getting that second star, that is for sure. But we are definitely not going to be going much further than 80 or 90%. In all honesty, we wiped out the hardest portion of the base, guys. And you know what? Considering how many spells we used on our Queen, I suppose, it wasn't too bad, but... um. We're not going to be going much further than 80%, but let's just wait and see what happens. Still got 35 seconds to go. Can we breach 90%? That would be pretty cool. We're definitely not going to go much further than that, guys, but we've already got the 80. Tesla Tower's going to go down. There's only a scatter shot left. If we could take out that scatter shot and we had maybe the Queen Ability left, we could have done it, guys. But obviously, those are all lifts and buffs. It didn't happen. One more building would be awesome, guys. There it goes, 87%. And we didn't really manage to revenge our poor 99% two-star on number four. So unfortunately, as I said, 
This is going to be the first clan war we have lost in a while, guys, which does suck. But there's nothing really we can do about that now. What we are going to do is... We still need to max out our season bank. We've got a couple of days left to collect the rest of the prizes. And there are a few challenges we need to do.